welcome everyone. Hello to everyone. I'm so excited that you guys are all here. Um, what you're going to notice is that when you logged in, you're going to notice that you can't see that anyone else is there except for me. You will also notice that I can't hear you. So if you have questions, I encourage you all to use that little Q&A button at the bottom of your screen. If you have questions about my presentation or questions about the summit that you'd like me to answer my presentation, hopefully we'll answer them all. Um, and if you want to talk to me directly, you, um, or if you want to talk to the group in general and introduce yourself, uh, you can use that little chat button down there and say hello. Um, and we are very excited to have everyone here. Thank you all for joining us. This is going to be a really wonderful webinar. We're very excited to give all of you a little bit of insight into what you'll be doing in the Atlanta Youth Programs. We have a lot going on, so um, we thought it was going to be really important to share this information with all of you so you know what to expect. Um, but we're still leaving a few surprises in there. Uh, so we're not giving you everything, but we're giving you enough because we want to surprise you with a couple things. But I think it's going to be a really wonderful experience. So feel free if, um, if you guys feel like it, you guys can start using that chat button and introducing yourselves. We will all be getting together in Atlanta. So, you know, you're going to meet each other at some point. Feel free to introduce yourselves and um, tell us where you live. I invite you guys to go ahead and use that chat feature to, to do that. So I'll start here and I am live in, here we go. I hope you all could see my little chat there. but I'm more curious to know who all of you are and where you guys are from. So feel free to use that chat button at the bottom of your screen and tell us, introduce yourselves. Hey, Kinley, welcome. Jess, we have someone here from Australia. And if you're wondering why we have someone here from Australia, I will tell you shortly. We are really excited um to have so many wonderful people join us for the summit this year hey gabriella hey from florida welcome you guys it's really nice to see where everyone's from and that you guys are all here for the webinar awesome thanks beverly hey levi if you're there hello chacon family excited that you guys are here so uh, for those of you who just joined us, um, I'm just going to give a little brief explanation. Uh, the way that this works is that um, you can hear me, but I cannot hear you. So your mic is muted. Um, and I'm not sure if you guys can see the participant list of who's here, but we are using that little chat button down there to introduce ourselves. So feel free to type in your name and where you're from. Um, we're all going to meet each other in Atlanta anyway, so why not get acclimated here? Um, and then I really encourage if you have any summit specific questions, if you have any um, anything that you really want answered during the webinar, please use that Q&A button at the bottom of your screen and um, we'll get to all of your questions. Um, throughout the webinar. So I'll probably wait till the very end. And if I haven't answered them already, we'll go ahead and answer the questions that you guys um, have typed in. So, hey, Emma, welcome. Excited to have you here. Hey, Matthew and Hayden from Virginia. We're excited to see you in Atlanta too. And hey, Paige from Texas, excited to have you here. Very, very wonderful. I think that the summit is going to be a really um, special experience. It's going to be a series of youth programs unlike anything we've ever done before. So I'm really excited to tell you guys about it here and we'll get started in two minutes. And um, I think hopefully you'll all be pleasantly surprised with some of the things that we have going on at the summit this year. 
I know many of you are probably very curious to know what you'll be doing. All right, so we'll just wait one more minute. I know we are at the half hour, but I always like to wait one more minute for anybody who is um, having trouble logging in. So just a moment. All right, so welcome everyone. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started. Welcome everyone, really excited to have you here. We are having this webinar tonight to talk to you a little bit about what to expect the 2019 HAEA Patient Summit Youth Programs. We have a variety of really wonderful programs this year. And we wanted to give you all an opportunity to learn a little bit more about what to expect um, and just to give you an opportunity to ask questions that may come up um, about the programs. So uh, I just wanted to say welcome and thank you all for coming. Again, we're really excited to have you there um, and meet you in Atlanta if we haven't already met. Um, I think it's gonna be a really wonderful experience. So we can go to the next slide. Okay, so again, we are really excited to see you in Atlanta and we have a lot planned for you. We have been planning for months to put together something really special. Um, so next slide, please. Um, all right, so first, let me introduce myself. You will probably see me at the summit if you're in one of the youth programs. My name is Lisa Facciola. I run the children and youth programs at the HAEA. Um, if you have any questions um, before or leading up to or at the summit, feel free to come and ask me or any other um, HAEA staff or any of our volunteers will be wearing a white volunteer shirt. So you can go ahead and look for them. Um, any, any of those people should be, be able to answer your questions or help you in any way. You can find my email address there at the bottom of the screen. If you have any questions, feel free. It's very easy. It's lisa at haea.org. Next slide. Okay, so before we get started, I want to make sure that all of you are following us on social media. And if you're not, you definitely want to be. Um, we have two very wonderful Instagram pages. The first one is going to be HAEA Youth. This is a relatively new page that we started about two months ago. It is designed for our young HAE community members, their family and their friends, where they can learn more about HAE, um, meet and, and see other young patients their age and read their stories, get tips and tricks. And this page is actually managed by a group of six really incredible HA, young HAE patients. So it is designed by um, and managed by other HAE youth. So it's a really wonderful page and we will be giving um, updates throughout the summit on the, on the HAEA youth page. So follow us in the stories and follow us in the posts. Um, you can also go and follow the HAEI Youngsters page, and I'll be talking a little bit more about the international component of our program here in just a few minutes, um, but that's also a really wonderful resource and, um, and inspiration if you're looking to connect um, more broadly on social media. And then, of course, I'm sure you guys are already are, but um, if you're looking for a all the latest updates about what's going on at the Hereditary Angioedema Association, you can follow us on Facebook as well. Next slide. All right, so we have three very special programs this year. We have the Brady Club. We have this program usually about every year, um, and the Brady Club is designed for children ages 5 to 11. This workshop primarily only takes place on Saturday and it is an all day program. I'll get into it more in just a minute. We also are very excited 
to announce the Global Youth Advocacy Workshop. And um, this is for youth between the ages of 12 and 25. And this is gonna be Wednesday through Friday, all day Thursday and all day Friday, and it'll be just in the evening on Wednesday. So we're very excited. If you're signed up for that program, we'll talk more about that in just a minute. Um, and that program was really designed for youngsters and youth who are interested in learning how to better advocate for themselves and for the HAE community. Um, but we know that not everyone um, is really interested in learning, um, learning about advocacy um, on that deep of a level. So we did put together the Youth Leadership Program, which is only taking place on Saturday. Um, and that is also for uh, youngsters between the age of 12 and 25. So um, uh, we'll get into more about that in just a minute. Next slide. All right, so let's talk about the Brady Club. The Brady Club is a fun um, program for kids ages 5 to 11. Morning, if you're participating in this program, the morning check-in starts at 7.30 a.m. Parents need to accompany their kids to the check-in and should expect to stay at the kids room until about 8 a.m. when you'll be excused. This is Steve. Steve will be running the Brady Club program along with a group of incredibly stellar volunteers. And um, Steve wants to tell all of the parents and all of the kids about what to expect for the day um, before the parents go off and um, participate in the general summit. So if you are participating in this program, please expect to stay from check-in until um, about eight o'clock when you guys will then head back upstairs to the general summit. Um, if you do have a child in this program, and if you are a child in this program, you can be expected to be checked out for lunch at noon. So when the parents are excused from the general summit, they will come back downstairs to pick their kids up for lunch, join them for lunch in the general summit session, um, and then return back to the Brady Club room at about 1.15. So again, parents, you will need to check your child in um, and out around lunchtime. So you'll check them out at the beginning of lunch and then check them back in after lunch. And then the afternoon checkout is at 6 p.m. after the end of the general session. So we can go to the next page. But what to expect? What do you expect to happen at the Brady Club? So all I can say is that you need to be ready to make new friends, enjoy some fun activities. You're gonna have some really cool crafts to bring home and some more surprises that we have planned for you. Um, this is Brady the Bear down here at the bottom right corner. And he is our mascot for the Brady Club. And we are very excited to be welcoming Brady to the HAEA Patient Summit this year. So um, keep your eye out for Brady the Bear. And, um, and I know that Steve is very excited to, uh, to have you guys join him for the workshop this year. Next slide. All right, so we do have an evening activity planned um, because the adults will be invited to participate in um, an evening entertainment. The evening entertainment um, sometimes isn't very fun for kids. So we have put together a really fun evening activity and check-in is really much, really actually pretty prompt after the checkout for the daytime program. Um, so the check-in is at 7 p.m. and we will provide dinner to all the youngsters and the kiddos who are there. And um, go ahead and click that um, slide one more time, Giannis. Don't change the page. And we are excited because we will be welcoming, um, I'm not sure if you guys have heard of Build-A-Bear, but we will be hosting a very um, fun Build-A-Bear workshop in the youth room. We will be um, welcoming people from the Build-A-Bear team and the Build-A-Bear headquarters in Atlanta, and they will be um, leading this really fun Build-A-Bear workshop. So you will get to imagine the possibilities, which is the theme of our summit this year, by creating your own Brady the Bear to take home with you. 
This means that you will participate in everything that Build-A-Bear is except for the stuffing because they need that special machine to stuff the bears. If you have done it before, if you don't, they use this big special machine to stuff the bears with all of their um, fluff and, and, and squeezable insides. Um, but you guys will be um, dressing your bear and creating your own bear. And I think it's gonna be a fun activity for you guys. So uh, look forward to that. And, um, and again, if anyone has any questions about the presentation I'm, get, I'm giving today, please go ahead and use that Q&A button at the bottom of the screen and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions um, at the end of the presentation. So if I'm skipped over something that you wanted to know more about, please, um, please again, go ahead and ask them with that Q&A button. Um, but just to wrap up, the Brady Club program is going to be awesome. Steve does an incredible job of preparing a very special day for all of you. I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be creative. You guys are going to do things that um, I think are going to surprise you. And um, we have a really wonderful group of youth who are signed up. So get ready to make some friends. All right, so we can go on to the next slide. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the Global Youth Advocacy Workshop. And this workshop is designed for youth and young adults between the ages of 12 and 25. Everyone will arrive on Wednesday and we will have some dinner and some fun games planned between six and 9 p.m. We know that everybody's gonna be tired. Um, there's gonna be a lot going on, um, but we still wanted to give you guys an opportunity to have some fun and kind of be goofy and make new friends. Um, on that first night. So we've pulled together some pretty creative and funny games. I don't know if you guys have, can look at this first slide, this first picture here on the left. Um, and this is the big mouth game. Uh, it is hilarious and it's gonna be a lot of fun and I want to play it so I might get involved. Um, we also have this heads up game that's featured on the Ellen show. We have some giant checkers and some Jenga and some other fun games for you guys to play together as a group, just so you guys can get to know each other once you come in. Um, but again, if you are participating in the Global Youth Advocacy Workshop, we will have dinner and some games from six to nine. Um, and this is gonna be just an opportunity for you guys to get to know each other. Next slide. But what did I mean when I said Global Youth Advocacy Workshop? Well, this year we are excited to welcome about 35 youth from 19 countries around the world who will be joining us for the Youth Advocacy Workshop and the Saturday Youth Leadership Program. This is going to be a first of its kind for an HAEA workshop, and we are incredibly excited to welcome people from all over the world. Now, this is where I want you guys to get involved and use that little chat button down there. I'm curious to know how many flags you guys can recognize. So let's take a couple minutes. Pull up that chat box, and I wanna know if we can name all 19 flags. So let's get started. Go ahead. I'm waiting. Feel free to type in your guesses. What flags do you see? Oh, we see Ecuador, correct. We have Australia, Canada, Argentina. You guys are doing awesome. Canada, Australia, Argentina. What else, what else do we have? Oh my goodness, well the US is, is, is there, but today we're gonna be, right here we're talking about our international um, friends. So we have Italy, Sweden, Mexico, Poland. We have Spain, we have Israel, Germany. You guys are doing awesome. We have Great Britain, that's correct. I don't believe that we have Portugal, but we do have Germany, Australia, Greece. Wonderful, you guys. I can't even keep up with all of your awesome comments. So I'll go ahead and tell you guys all the wonderful countries that we'll be welcoming um, to our United States program. And so obviously we will have a lot of United States youth there, but we have kids coming from Argentina, Australia, Belarus, Brazil, Canada, Denmark, Ecuador, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Israel, Italy, Mexico, Peru, Poland, 
Spain, Serbia, South Africa, and the UK. So it's going to be an incredible experience. If you're participating in this program, you're going to have an opportunity to make friends from all over the world. And um, I think it's going to be an experience that you will not ever forget. So next slide, please. So as part of this workshop, um, let's start with Thursday. So what to expect on Thursday if you're in the Global Youth Advocacy Workshop. We are going to have act activities from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with a break for lunch. You need to come ready to make friends. You need to come ready to learn about advocacy and how you can become a better advocate. Please expect to work in a group um, with the goal of achieve, uh, achieving something that I'm, I'm not going to tell you guys about quite yet. You'll have to wait till you get there. Um, I encourage you guys to be creative and collaborative, to think out of the box, and to present your ideas. Um, this is going to be an incredible experience. It's going to be an incredible, um, really what it is, is it's a workshop, and you guys will be analyzing HAE advocacy efforts. We will be doing, the workshop will consist of um, guest speakers. We have some brief lectures to talk about certain issues that, that are relevant to advocacy. You guys will be doing individual assignments. You guys will be working as a group most of the time on a project that we'll tell you more about when you get there. Um, and each of you who participate in this workshop will receive this advocacy toolkit. This is a resource that will guide you through the entire workshop. And you can see the cover of the book here on the left side. Um, you will see this work, this book quite a bit if you're in the Global Advocacy Program. Um, but again, we really want you guys to have fun. We want you to learn and we want you to have fun at the same time. Um, and we want you guys to make friends. But again, this workshop is really focused on advocacy. So we'll be going deep into some themes and some issues that face the HAE community. We'll be kind of looking to um, create solutions that, um, that you guys can think of for some issues that you have identified. Um, I think it's gonna be a really interesting and beneficial experience for everyone who participates. So next slide. And then, um, you know, just to set the tone for the advocacy workshop, why do we advocate? Why is a advocacy workshop important? That's what we might ask ourselves, right? You know, well, we have two primary objectives. We have a vision and we have a mission. And our vision is that, I'm just gonna read it off of here so you, know, you guys can just hear directly from me, but we imagine a world where every HAE patient has access to advanced treatment options that allow them to live life to the fullest. We aim and our mission is to empower young people to have a voice, to advocate for themselves and their communities, to educate others and to raise awareness about HAE. So this will really set the tone for the workshop. Um, and I think you all will be very interested um, to participate. Next slide. All right, so Friday, because the advocacy workshop is takes place on Wednesday evening, it will be Thursday during the day, and then Friday. So from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., you can expect to part continue participating in the workshop. We have a series of activities planned to round up and finish the experience. Um, and each group will be giving a brief presentation to, um, to share the concepts they have addressed in their group and the solutions that they've developed. Um, from 4 to 10 p.m., we have a very special evening celebration activity. But again, let me just go back to this picture here. Um, and this picture, this quote by Nelson Mandela, really sparks, you know, it really says a lot to the need for this advocacy workshop. And we believe that the youth of today are truly the leaders of tomorrow. And I hope that through your participation in this workshop, you will find a little bit of that leader inside of you. And we hope to light a fire 
and um, allow that leader in you to blossom a little bit. Um, so we're very excited, um, but you guys are gonna be working pretty hard for two days. So we wanted to give you something extra special to um, wrap up the Global Advocacy Workshop. So next slide, please. That is why we are taking you to SunTrust Park. SunTrust Park is home of the Atlanta Braves. We will be greeted by their staff and um, we will be treated to a behind the scenes tour of the stadium where we will go and see everything that happens behind the scenes there. The only glitch is that the stadium is gonna be empty because the Braves have an away game that day. So um, we will have an opportunity to go on the field because there is no game happening that day. We will see the dugout. We're gonna see the, cha the locker rooms. It's gonna be pretty cool. Um, and then after our behind the scenes tour of the stadium, um, I know that some of our friends, um, if you haven't been to a baseball game before, been to an American baseball stadium, this is gonna be an awesome experience. If you have been to an American baseball stadium, this is gonna be an awesome experience. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are too. Um, and then after our, um, our behind the scenes tour, we will be taken upstairs into their private viewing area. This is a kind of a VIP area in the stadium and we will have a private watch party where we will watch the game that's taking place in Philadelphia. Um, on some screens, we'll be um, greeted by a really amazing dinner. We'll have some fun activities and get to watch the game there on the TV. So um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be an experience that hopefully you will never forget. Um, and we wanted to provide you guys with something unique and special. But just know that if you're not participating in the Global Advocacy Workshop, we have some special things planned for you too. So next slide, please. Oh, but I did want to retract very quickly because there's some important information that we want to cover here. Um, if you are the parent of a child or if your parent is coming with you to Atlanta and you are participating in the Global Youth Advocacy Workshop, th there's been a question brought up about what will the parents do? Well, we have some good news for you that it, while your child or if your parent is there um, and you are participating in the Global Advocacy Workshop, parents will not be participating in the workshop. So they are free to enjoy their day however they so please. So they will have some free time to enjoy Atlanta. They have no commitments during this time. Um, we have extended an invitation to some parents of, who have children ages 15 and under, if they would like to also join us for the um, Atlanta Braves outing. Um, and that is because some parents of young children need to be with their, their youngsters. Um, and so we wanted to give that opportunity. So if you do have a child who is participating in the Global Youth Advocacy Workshop, and I have already not already spoken with you, um, and your child is 15 or under, we have space for one parent to participate in the program. Um, and then meals. So we have provided accommodation for one parent to join their child for meals at during these three days, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So the meals that will be provided to parents are as follows, Wednesday dinner, Thursday breakfast and dinner, and then Friday breakfast, they will be having dinner at the um, baseball park. So um, I hope that answers some questions if you all had them. So next slide, please. All right. So let's go on to the HAEA Youth Leadership Program. This program will be happening only on Saturday. We are, this program is open to youth between, youth and young adults between the ages of 12 and 25. Um, the theme of this part of this workshop is going to focus on storytelling as a tool for advocacy. Because we know that being able to tell your story as a patient or as a family member of a patient, or even as a friend. I'm not sure if we have any friends who are coming, but um, even as a friend of a patient, being able to tell that story is the first step in being able to advocate for yourself and being able to talk about your experiences. So that's why we selected this 
theme for the workshop. So 8 a.m. on Saturday, you will check in for the Youth Leadership Program. If you are under the age of 18, your parent, oops, sorry for that typo, it's your parent needs to sign you in. We are, um, this is a requirement. There's no getting around it. We need everyone who's under 18 to be signed in and signed out by their parent. Um, if you are over the age of 18, you are able to, um, to sign yourself in and out. Um, so the day Saturday will start off um, just like this. We will be joining the general summit sessions to um, participate in the welcoming remarks. We have a very, very fun experience planned um, for our opening remarks for the general summit, and we wanted you guys to be part of that. So um, we'll head just right next door and join everybody else for, who's in the summit um, for about 45 minutes while we participate in these opening remarks, and, um, and we wanted to make sure that you guys were part of that experience. Uh, next slide. But after the, um, after the opening remarks, we will be exiting the hotel immediately and walking about a half mile. It's not far, it's literally just across the park, so it's just about a 10 minute walk um, to the Center for Civil and Human Rights. This is one of Atlanta's premier museums. I um, was blown away when I visited this museum and I wanted to share that experience with you all. We will be greeted by one of their staff who will take us downstairs into their event space and we'll participate in about a 40 minute workshop slash presentation about media and advocacy. You know, media is an incredibly powerful tool when it comes to advocacy and raising awareness about certain issues. And we will be talking about this a little bit um, through this presentation. And then after that presentation, you all will have an opportunity to tour the museum um, with your peers. So it will be a self-guided tour of the museum. It is one of the most interactive and visual um, museums that I have ever been in. It is wonderful and I think you are all going to be blown away by your experience there. There's so many interactive um, displays, so many, it's just very interesting and I think you're all going to have a really, really good time. Um, plus you will be with your new friends and have an opportunity to hang out with them. So after, um, right before lunch, we will all be leaving the museum and heading right back over to the hotel, which is just across the park. You can actually see the park in the green outside of those windows right there. So we'll just be walking right across that park and back into the hotel um, and where you guys will kind of disperse for lunch and, um, and eat lunch on your own through the general summit, which is gonna be a buffet style lunch. Uh, next slide, please. All right, but then we have a second half of the day. And this is gonna be one of the, um, I think, hopefully highlights of your experience at the summit. And again, remembering that our theme for the General Summit Youth, the, for the Youth Leadership Program is gonna be storytelling as a tool for advocacy. So we teamed up with one of the best storytellers in Atlanta. This is an organization, it's a nonprofit organization called Reimagine ATL. And that stands for Reimagine Atlanta. And this is a nonprofit organization that hosts storytelling and media making workshops in the schools, the community centers, and all over Atlanta. They are really some of the leaders in Atlanta in working with youth and um, amplifying young voices to be able to feel confident in sharing their stories. So we're very excited about this part of the workshop and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it here in just a second. Let's go to the next slide, please. All right, so you, if you um, signed up for this program, which many, I think a lot of the people who are logged into this did, you probably received an email from me asking me to choose, asking to choose your interest. And if you didn't participate in that survey, then we assigned you a group. But we will be having several different groups um, that will be breaking off from our main group and participating in a series of workshops. 
So we will be actually having three individual filmmaking workshops. We'll be having two photography workshops. We'll have an improv and storytelling workshop and a visual art um, kind of painting workshop. Um, each of these workshops is going to be hosted by one of Atlanta's premier teaching artists. I'm just going to say that these are some really cool people. And if you want to learn more about them, you can follow us on Instagram and go back. I think about last week, we highlighted all of the teaching artists where you can um, go and look at them and we included their Instagram handles so you can look them up and follow them and see what they're all about. Um, but you won't know which workshop you were paired with until you actually get to the summit. Um, and we will be very, very strict about enforcing the workshop groups. So um, if you are assigned to a workshop, we will ask that you stay with that workshop group and give it a chance because I think it's going to be incredible. Again, we have some really cool people who are teaching those workshops and, um, and each group will be doing their kind of own expression of that medium. So the photographer, one of the photography groups will be doing kind of a Humans of New York photography project. There will be some of the filmmaking groups will be doing um, some interview style with some very high tech cameras. Another group will be doing mobile storing where mobile storytelling where they will be actually doing some behind the scenes work from the general summit. The visual arts group will be doing a really interesting composite on a canvas and you'll be able to take a canvas home with you. And the improv and storytelling group is going to be working with this incredible gentleman and um, participating in some improv activities. So um, I hope that gives you guys a little bit of insight without revealing too much, um, but I think this is gonna be a really wonderful experience. Next slide, please. So, and then um, you all, when you get to the summit, you, all the youth, um, all the youth who are participating in the Global Advocacy Workshop or the Youth Leadership Program will receive this Beyond HAE sticker. And this is gonna be the very first time that I'm making this campaign public. Um, so you all are the very first people to know about it. And the Beyond HAE campaign is going to be for Youth Advocacy Month in October, 2019. And the challenge, it's a challenge and a contest. And the challenge is, is that we are going to ask you to take a photo with the sticker doing something that you love because we want to know and we want to see who you are beyond HAE. We'll ask you to take that photo and post it to social media with the hashtag beyond HAE. So we're very, very excited to announce this campaign um, and each of you will be receiving more instructions, but I will say that we have a um, very uh, interesting and, and fun contest and we will be giving out some cash prizes to those who participate. So, and, there, and it's not chump change, this is some good stuff. So um, stay tuned and each of you will receive more information leading up to the workshop. So let's go to the next slide here. Um, and again, before I go ahead and answer the questions that came in, and again, if you have any questions that you would like answered, um, aside from some uh, that I've seen in here that are personal questions to me, um, um, I'd just like to set the tone that you know, we can't always build the future for our youth, but we can build our youth for the future. Again, that's a really wonderful quote that I think really sets the tone for our mindset going into the, into the workshop. Um, and so let me answer a couple questions that um, came in and someone was asking about being on time for that dinner on Wednesday night. Um, we do know that everyone's flights come in at different times and um, and uh, and so, you know, if you don't make it to dinner, if you make it late, it's fine. It's no problem. Um, of course, we'd love to see you there, but we do know that everyone's flights come in at different times and some people might be really tired. So um, we hope that you make it to dinner. If you don't, we will see you on Thursday. Um, the other question is that, um, what are going to be, be the options for those with food allergies during the summit? So the way that we have the, food, the summit set up is that, you know, there are a lot of people with very special 
um, dietary needs, and sadly, we're not able to accommodate every single one. So we have made special accommodations for those who are gluten-free. If you do have gluten-free needs, then there will be food that's at the summit that will be labeled gluten-free. Every meal will also have a vegetarian option available. So if, if you do not eat meat, there will be something there for you. But if you do have very specific food allergies, um, I always say play it on the safe side. And you know, when you get into Atlanta, um, try to tr find an alternative. Sadly, we aren't able to accommodate every single you know, person's special food needs, even though we do try. Um, uh, but there is a really incredible food court that is literally just downstairs. I've eaten there. There's tons of healthy um, restaurants down there. There's some great salads, sandwiches, um, pretty much everything, smoothies, everything that you could imagine. So when we do break for lunch, if you have special food needs, you can excuse yourself to, um, to go and find something for yourself down there. Um, and so if anyone has any other questions, feel free to um, type them in the chat box. Um, Beverly, I will look into the question that you asked. So um, give me, I will follow up with you via email. And let me just check to make sure if I have any other questions that have come in. Um, I really appreciate you all participating in our interactive activity. I think that was a lot of fun. Um, again, if anyone, you know, if you don't have any questions, let's see. So Jess, if you, how do we know if we are in the youth leadership program? Very good question, and I didn't answer that, so I apologize. Um, if you signed up for the Global Youth Advocacy Workshop, you were automatically registered for the um, Saturday Youth Leadership Program. So it's kind of an automatic thing if you, but, when you registered for the summit, there was only one option, and that was you could, that you could choose, and it was either one. But um, the fact was was that if you enrolled in the Global Youth Advocacy Workshop, you were automatically enrolled in the Saturday Youth Leadership Program. But if you enrolled in only the Saturday Youth Leadership Program when you registered, um, then that was the program that you um, were enrolled in, and so you will only be participating in that Saturday program. Um, I hope that answers the question. Um, and again, if anyone has any questions about their specific or individual registration, you can go ahead and, um, and shoot me an email. It's going to be lisa at haea.org. Everyone should have received a um, reconfirmation email today. Um, and so if you haven't received that email, you definitely want to go back and check in your inbox and your whoever registered for the summit and used their email address, that email would have gone to them. And so um, in that email, it will note whether or not you have someone in your group who was part who was registered for the advocacy workshop. Um, and, and if not, then you were probably registered for the Saturday Youth Leadership Workshop. But again, if you have any questions about what workshop you are registered for, I'm happy to, um, to let you know. Now, if you're coming in on Wednesday, you are registered for the Global Youth Leadership Workshop and the Global Advocacy Workshop and <laughs> the Advocacy Workshop and the Leadership Program. If you're coming in on Friday, then you are probably just registered for that Saturday program. So I hope that answers questions. Um, again, you can see my email address there at the bottom of the screen, lisa at haea.org. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Um, thank you all for joining us tonight. I hope this gave you a little bit more information than you already had about what to expect. Um, just know that we are working our hardest to make this a wonderful experience for everyone, and we look forward to seeing you all there. So thank you so much, um, and we will see you in Atlanta.